That was nice. nice. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Unlucky Specialist Podcast. Yours truly, Sam Torres. And your boy, Jeff Dippin, a.k.a. Uh, relaxing with the hazy. Oh, Shout no more gang affiliation or what fits? No more gang affiliations. <laughs> <laughs> We're not a gang affiliated podcast. We're unaffiliated. We're unincorporated. We affiliate with all gangs. I was, I was, <laughs> not just one. I was cracking up how last podcast Matt was like, yeah, unincorporated areas. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about burning shit. Like, oh, I never even of that. Yeah, like who claims that? Oh, yep. Matt, he's not here today. Uh yeah, uh, empty seat right there. Empty. Shout out to the first guest to, to Matt. Shout out to Jason in the house. Jason in the house once well, again. Well, in his house. We're in, in his, his house. house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back in the studio, back in the spot, Un- undisclosed location. This is the true undisclosed location. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I love it. It's coming along, guys. It's it's it feels like home. It feels. Feels like feel somewhere like, where we can come it home. Feels more like man cave. Like I feel like we haven't talked about the studio enough. We right? haven't. We, we we should have. You know what? We were like pondering. What should we talk about for the for this podcast? Let's talk about the studio. It feels like. You know what it feels like? It feels like. It feels like Satrialis. It feels. It feels like the bada bing. It feels like what? <laughs> Satrialis. What the, Satrialis. What the fuck is that? I'm talking about uh, Sopranos. Oh. I've been watching a lot. Feels, of oh, I know the bada bing. That's yeah. A club. <laughs> yeah. You know, like what the place. Like, you know, so- the pork store where they where they they're always the, playing. What's the opposite of nonchalant? Shalant. Shalant. <laughs> <laughs> like having a ship club named Bada Bing. <laughs> like, Straight oh, up. This is not money do. laundering for <laughs> illicit activities. And the, the one next door is called A. Hey. Hey. That's where you order subs and shit. It's not sub A. Uh, <laughs> No, know, no, you, you know what I mean. Like the 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 back the the back a uh, table where you play some cards, you you you, you eat some sandwiches. Yeah, this is the social club. Yeah, that's fun. No, I fuck. I like. Nice. I feel like, like I've I've said this like off the podcast, but it just feels like more relaxed, right? For sure. Like you feel like you don't gotta like run in and out. Yeah. You could chill more. It's just yeah. It feels like something that like. Last I, week we had we shared a meal after the podcast. We had some Thai food. That was dope. That was fucking yeah, amazing. That was tight. Just hanging out, you know. It, it feels spacious enough to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't feel kind of like. And I'm not saying that the old studio wasn't like spacious. It just you know like it's been improvements over time. Yeah. But this is like the big improvement. This is you. You see the evolution of the podcast. We started in my fucking garage. That's true. With no video. No video. All just fucking audio. Talking. She was like With three hours long. Six fucking tall cans <laughs> in front of us. Shit face. We had just watched fucking uh, Game, Game of, Game of Thrones. Thrones. So we're just shit face talking about that. It was new. And, and you know, no video thing. whatsoever. It was no. like fucking like hot as fuck in the summer, burning in it a was fucking like garage. AM radio during wartime. <laughs> <laughs> it, was like, it, was, it was good morning, the, Vietnam. The planes have <laughs> just crossed the Pacific <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> so the Nazis have taken <laughs> London. <laughs> Paris has fallen. Everyone you know stay I mean? bunkered. <laughs> that's that's what we were doing to to, to, to my apartment in Venice, and, and 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 you could hear the fucking firefighters outside. You know, this is a funny thing. I feel like one of the best podcasts you ever did, and it there's I, I don't even know. It's like lost in the fucking matrix. It's like I probably got it somewhere. It, it was the. End of the it was like the last podcast. It was either the first podcast of 2020 or the last podcast of 2019 where we na- named our favorite albums of the last decade. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that yeah. shit was fucking sick. I think that we was, went like an hour and a half, two hours did. just going down like top 10 albums. But and we no sat vi- there, no video, no, that's just all on fucking wax audio, bro. I'm that, gonna bring that out. I'm gonna, I have that that old that hard be drive. Like an exclusive. That that's an exclusive right there. We need to drop that on our Patreon when we make it. <laughs> well, we well, we have a Patreon right here. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it'd be like you could see the early days of the unlucky specialist. For real, there's some there's some good. No, there's there's some gems. You know which one is one of my favorites? That's a lot uh, straight audio. It's uh, Kobe dying. Like the, the I mean like the the day after Kobe died. That was just audio. That was just audio. We didn't even. Because it was just me and you. And, and and I think Matt was on it. Matt was probably on it. I think I have it in some, a little bit of video but with my old cameras, but nothing that I published. See, that would have been a good one. The only thing that was published was audio. Yeah. No, that, that Kobe. So that one was really Kobe, good. Yeah, that one that was probably really good. Really good. We got like 200,000 views on that one. But see, it's like we move from, we move on, we move from that. To, 
to then we hook up with Jason. Yeah. No mm -hmm. homo. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Pause. We we go he's, to Jason. He's we, bringing all his shit. Right over to the, to the to, to the, the to the pad to over the to, to to the to the Venice he apartment. He was still going to Venice. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He was every driving week. out. There. Yeah, every week, every, every Sunday, week. and then you know it was a little difficult. It was, it was a little hard. Then I start. I move back to the valley. We do a little bit there. Then and we, because we we do the fame. We do the famous uh, fucking. Miguel episode right oh, there yeah, and my and my and true. Sal and uh, Corbin and, yes all uh, all, Corbin, all, all, all them right the, there all at the spot out at Sam's spot then you know the baby comes the baby so it's a little different difficult and we jump from studio to studio a studio up in Northridge we kind of settle start finally settling in uh, into Jason's old studio that he had, but you were using it before for like more music, right? You had like drums in there and all that shit, right? Yeah, it was drums. I had to clear it out basically every week. Yeah, right, right. Just like yeah, it was. You were doing a lot more. Uh, like you were uh, before we started doing that. You were doing more like recording with other bands, so that's why it was a little yeah. difficult for. And then you're like, fuck it, let's just go to your house. Yeah. Let's do it there, and it, and it worked out. It was it, it, was, it was it was it was a good that spot. Was, that was though too, but even there, it was like. You know, it, it, felt, we, it felt like it, you, you had to be in and out because you didn't want to like bother linger and linger, right? Like it's like right. you, we're pissing in bushes. <laughs> I was just gonna say, <laughs> pissing, let's be honest, yeah, what we were doing, we're, we're, what we were talking about, we're Jeff. Pissing in bushes. We, be, but at first we weren't. At first we were like, hey, we're holding it till we had fucking UTIs, <laughs> a fucking <laughs> uh, exploding fucking kidney, and, and, and then Jason, hey, can we go to the bathroom? We're running up to just fucking pissing. Yeah. And, and that was, and that then was I, even worse. I feel like damn, like Jason's mom probably hates for this real because we're going in and out of the fucking house. house. You know what I mean? Leaks and shit. Then after that, we're like, "Fuck it, Jason. Can we just pee in the corner?" Or I don't know how it came up. And I then think we Jason peeing. was like, "Just piss fucking all these pee out." Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was, it was just annoying going back yeah. and forth, like up, up, up and down those yeah. stairs. Yeah. Like, you know, just go in the. Like, these guys fucking drink too much. What the fuck? Just, just pee on the plants. Like so you know there's a jungle out there because of us. I know. <laughs> I'm, 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 I felt like fucking the Amazon. Yeah. Man. I mean, and well, before we left, it's humid in here. <laughs> <laughs> the huge. It's you like cut through to get the like fucking in the studio. Percent humidity, <laughs> just in this one area. Swing through fucking vines like Tarzan to <laughs> get like, down to the fucking studio. New, there's new wildlife, <laughs> new animals, new insects. But yeah. But yeah, this is this is the next times. this is the next step right here. For next step to, for mm -hmm. the group. Next step for the podcast. Next step for Jason. Next step for Jason for for fly, uh, sh shout out Flytrap TV. Exactly. Shout you know, if you guys Trap need uh, any any help, hit up my boy. Jason's he's the man of the hour, man. He's he's the alien of the hour. He is the I, alien. I True. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, how have you been? How's the week been? We played a little golf. We should talk about that. We played a little golf on Sunday. Everybody Jeff, was impressed guys. with my game. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Jeff impressed us all. We play a little scramble. You know what I mean? When you're first playing golf, you don't want to like, I don't know, at least me. You don't want to play like a straight game, you know, like a straight, oh, it's your score, my score, and that guy score, right? What you want to do is you want to play a scramble. You want to have fun. You want to get out there. You it's want basically to, best ball. It, it pretty much it is. It's two guys. It's, it's, it's so it's two guys in their car, two guys in the, uh, the other car, and they're playing against each other. One score for those two, four people. Or, I mean, two scores for those two. Whoever people. gets the best, like uh, the best score, like if it's like par, under par, like whatever it is, they win that hole basically. Yeah, exactly. Right? So it, it makes it funner. So you're not there whacking at it. You're like. 10 strokes in, you feel like a fucking I have, suck at golf. I have golf. a question. See, because, like, see, now I'm feeling a little, a little more, more confident. confident. So I'm like. Because he was fucking whacking. My cousin lifted, hit it left, and my and Jeff hit it and just right on the green. You know yeah, what I mean? A couple on the, times. On, on, the, on, on the first, first hole. On the first hole. The first I hole. Did it right on the that, was, that was like, uh, wow. I was like, a, I was a little impressed. I was sober. You know what I mean? I, I was good. I, <laughs> I, I, I was just I was woken working. up. I had, it was I had a coffee. I had fucking. I you know, a little work. bagel. I, after like hole three, it was all downhill. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it was. Uh, I feel like now I'm thinking like, okay, so what happens? Let's say, fuck it, next 18. I'm, I'm ready for the 18, and I'm right. ready to like just play the the real game. Like it's like everyone, Straight. like everyone's just keeping their own score. Let's see who wins. Basically, you got a lot of work to do on your swing, then. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Like, see, and this is the thing though. So like. How many swings until it's just like fuck it? Like I'm I'm just taking the fucking L on this. Well, 
Okay, so it depends on who you play with. A lot of people play with like, you know, just as many swings you can count all that. Me, See, and, that sounds like it would take forever. Yeah. Like especially like me, like I'd probably get there because there's some holes there where I was struggling, especially like the ones where it was like the big driver holes towards the end, and then just like start rolling down the hill. Exactly, like it's like. So no, what what you would do is, well, if you're by yourself, you still whack it, and if you don't want to, and if you don't want to, like, like continue, like just whacking it. Usually, me as a partner, I'd be like, hey, just drop by me. We'll continue. You get a drop for it for another stroke for it, mm -hmm. and you and with me and my cousin, we like to have fun. Like, and if you you're, you're having a bad day, we cap it at eight. That's what mm -hmm. I was thinking. I think we cap eight, we cap it at eight. Like if you that makes if, sense, if, sometimes though. you'll have a, a twelve show coal, but we cap it at eight just so you're not feel like shit. I mean, yes, as long as you know going into into that round, your your score might not reflect Actually, what, what you was. really was. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. you but you had a good time and you learned from it. You learned certain I feel like things. That's from what it. it's all about. It's when like you're no first, one... for your first starting exactly. because if you're, you're not on the fucking tour. You're not out here trying to make me. We're not YouTube stars. I don't. I'm not out here like uh, saying that I'm. I, I'm like I scored in, in in the 90s. Yeah, for sure. But I've never. I've I've never like really like I had a couple of weeks that was consistent. But after that, I hit. I'm so like, what's a hundred and so hundred and ten? What's a ninety? for the people that don't know. Like what's a what's the a 90? score of ninety? Yeah. So par in certain courses is or most courses is seventy two. So full course is seventy two. So par is basically your. You're playing even. Even, yeah. Even. So that means you've made every hole. So let's say like par so like for some the holes is four. Five and five, four, three. three. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So if you made so, up to like three, like let's say so the first. So from the T to the hole, if you take three strokes to get to it in the, the, in the, in the hole, hole, that's par. That's par. If it's a par three. Right. If it's a par four, if it takes if it's four, four from the T to the hole, that's even. You're even. Right. That's four, five, five. etc. Yeah. No, no, no. Nothing. Yeah. It's, it's Three five. to five. Three to five. That's yeah. it. And, and there's no six it, out there in the there, world. There is some, but the, people don't consider that like like real, real you know, legit the, golf. Yeah, there's some sixes out there. I've heard, but uh, but those anyways, idiots. those uh, disgracing the game of golf, disgracing the PGA. <laughs> uh, but if you get par, which is seventy-two, which means you've gotten the the exact amount all throughout. You, uh, you even. know, you're broke even. Yeah, that that's amazing. Yeah. Not, oh, not many, yeah. not, not many golfers. Most average golfers are 100 and above. So that means a score that you've. So let's say you you did you didn't do par, you did one over. That's a bogey, and then two over. That's a double bogey, right? So that's three. If you scored five, that's a double bogey. If you scored four, that's a bo bogey. Or, What's after and double cetera. bogey? Triple bogey. Quadruple bogey. And then Damn, five, six, just, seven, like, yeah, plus six, but yeah, you're just in hell. Yeah, right you keep there. seeing, you just, you just <laughs> you're plus just, there. You're just driving, and then, and then below par because you can do below hell. You can do below par, yeah. which is birdie. Birdie's the the one right before par, right? And then what's after birdie? Uh, um, or what's before birdie? Eagle, Eagle. and then albatross. Albatross. Yeah, never heard that shit. So. <laughs> Fucking an albatross. <laughs> that sounds evil. <laughs> albatross. There's a negative connotation to an albatross. <laughs> what? I was, in, I was in a negative connotation to an albatross. albatross? Yeah, it's a bird. That's around your neck, bro. The albatross, son. The bird? What do you mean with an albatross around your neck? Bro, now we got to go into like mythic the, lores, bro. There's an albatross bird. I know. Like it looks like a fucking seagull, but it's big. The albatross around your neck. Right? What's, what's the albatross? The albatross around my neck. This golfing term describes when you score three below par on a hole. You make a hole in one on a par four or a two on a par five. See that? Also known as a double. The, al the literary origin of the phrase to have an albatross around your neck. From the book, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Hmm. So it this is a fucking albatross. Yeah, I know. It's a bird. Oh, I, I was an English major in my past like life. Right. That's what I'm saying. It's basically, like the seagull. albatross around your neck is basically like another. It's like the male version of a fucking scarlet letter. Like, you know, like the scarlet. So you're a whore. No, you're but whore. it's like basically the albatross around your neck is like that burden around. Like, it's like it's like that thing. Like, it's like that like, means you, you throw out that thing. Like you're an alcoholic. <laughs> if you're an alcoholic, alcohol is the albatross around your neck. Okay. If you're, if oh, you're, it's your, it's your, it's your vice. If you're, well, yeah, but it's it could be anything. It's that debt. 
That debt is the albatross around your neck. Your fucking cheating wife is the albatross around your neck. Not you. Bro. No, no, no. <laughs> Sam, you looked at me crazy. I'm like, Sam, don't. Pro- no, 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 no. <laughs> Sam's like, huh? <laughs> you motherfucker. What do you know that I don't know? Dead to me. <laughs> nah, no, for, no. But, yeah, for uh, real. Yeah, no, I love my. Yeah. <laughs> I love Everything's you, right. I love, I love you, baby. But yeah, so albatross is three under par. Three. <laughs> Back to like regular golf shit. <laughs> Segwayed it back to golf. Dude, we went to fucking. Yeah, way too we fucking, to fucking, deep. fucking to mythic, uh, mythical, lore. mythical English lore. Yeah. To fucking avians. <laughs> to, to, fucking, <laughs> to fucking seagulls. Yes, an albatross is three under par uh, when you, you make it like on a par five, you know, or a mm. hole in one. So a hole in one is an albatross. On a par four. Al- albatross. On a par four. I don't like it. So yeah, I mean, basically, like hitting a ninety, you're you're fucking killing it, Loki. You yeah, you, you do pretty good. Yeah. So I've I've hit not not ninety, but I've hit in the nineties, like 92, 95, 99. That's you know what I mean? Though. I've had those rounds, but there's also where I was scoring one twenty on on every day. You know what I mean? Like, so golf is that kind of that's what I love about golf. It's a it's a humbling sport. It's a sport that you go there and you you you're doing amazing one day. The next day, you fucking Dude, suck. I was watching videos of like Tiger Woods and like Bruce Kepka, like, like fuck Brooks, Brooks Kepka, like playing. I don't know fuck Bruce is my Bruce is brother. his gay brother. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching his videos. <laughs> Not Bruce. Hi guys, I'm Bruce. <laughs> I'm Bruce. I'm swinging that snake, baby. <laughs> swinging that rock. <laughs> swinging that shaft, actually. That. It's actually called the shaft. Swinging that. <laughs> nah, but, but you were looking at Bruce Kepka. Yeah, Bruce Kepka, and then afterwards Brooks, and then, and then fucking just that swing. And you know who else? What's his name? Fucking Boz. Br- Bryson DeChambeau. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Bryson DeChambeau. That dude is fucking killing it. That shit is like poetry in motion, bro. Oh, for sure. That shit. Is, he has, he like, launches that shit. Yeah, he hits the ball and then and it goes like. 350 yards but he has that finesse with the front foot bro it's yeah. like kind of crazy like have you seen those videos where it breaks it down he, the front foot he doesn't move on that drive he's like stiff yeah and then he just like turns his body exactly. it's crazy it's crazy dude it golf is a, it, it's it's funny how it's become so popular it's become so like like uh modern it's become something that people do because of the pandemic it was it was, it was a sport that you could pick up and you could do it social distance. socially distance yeah exactly how gay is that <laughs> <laughs> fuck you i don't want to see you but we're playing against each other you know what i mean like socially distancing talk about some shit that aged poorly socially real. distancing yeah yeah people is, don't is it making distancing. a comeback no i mean covid <laughs> supposedly is fuck it fuck covid dog all my homies hate covid bro I, uh, uh, my close uh, one of my relatives had uh, has COVID right now. I'm not gonna name names because I probably I don't have permission to say name names. <laughs> so because uh, of HIPAA, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> I've, I haven't looked the meta at the medical record. Don't try to get me in trouble with the feds, Jeff. Hey, yo, fuck HIPAA and OSHA, bro. <laughs> fuck OSHA. <laughs> Are you, do you have a workers' comp problem right now, Jeff? At work. <laughs> Can't have OSHA on my ass. Man. You know what I mean? Hey, too much bureaucracy. I'm just like, there's, there's too, too many, many gov- agencies. There's too many bro. governing agencies. Can we just send later- letters to Biden? <laughs> True. Just like with a bird. Can't everyone own their own business? Just if a person chops off their hand and that's their problem. If I fucking want some fucking like child labor. <laughs> Let me fucking pay them under the table. We're teaching them fucking how to work out. Yeah. I'm paying them the right rate. You know, I'll pay them minimum wage. Minimum wage, bro. But he's 12. A like, good, he looks good, like he's 15. A good $8 an hour. <laughs> exactly. Nah, but uh, enough of the violations. But this. No, was, yeah, I'm we're all, it's all, think, jo- all jokes aside. I, all jokes aside, I'm ready to golf again, bro. I'm no, ready. Jeff, I'm, you're, I'm, you're on the rotation. Let just let you know. Yes. You're on the rotation. You have made uh you have taken that step up. You have upgraded. You've been promoted. Hell yeah. You have yeah. next next level to I'd like to thank TikTok. <laughs> I'd like to thank YouTube <laughs> for showing me Bruce Kepka. <laughs> Brooks's brother. I'm Brooks's gay lover. <laughs> I mean gay, gay brother. I mean, <laughs> gay glover. 
but um, no, I, I love it. You know, no, yeah. And I'm definitely, definitely trying another golf course. I feel like now, I feel like now I'm like I'm maybe you get getting used, too you, used to the right, course, bro. Right. I mean, right. Fucking, you got to see other how other courses work. Exactly. How other how other courses they design their shit. Like what you haven't seen. I want to take you to this one in Burbank. Are what they call dog legs. So it's 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 a a hole that goes like this. So you have the fairway here and mm-hmm. fairway here, and the hole is over here. Oh, so you, can't, the hole's you, can't, hidden. you can't even see I the like hole. I feel like there was a one. It seemed like there was one in over there that was kind of like that. The hole Kinda. is just like hidden. It's not like maybe like around the corner, but it's yeah. o- on the other side of a hill or something. Yeah, I couldn't it, even it, see the up. flag. I couldn't no, see the flag. Right. No, it, it, you go up a hill. I was just hitting some yeah. shit. I was like, I don't you even know. You have to know. hit it up, up and then try to get it yeah, on top. I yeah. think there was a couple holes where I was like, I don't know. I had to ask, like, where the fuck am I supposed to even hit this? Like, and you're like, oh, that flag over there. Yeah. And then I had to, like, my vid is like, oh, okay, I kind of see it now. How do you feel about that island? That's what I love about Vista, though. How do you feel about that island hole? Like, the la- the second to last hole? See, the funny thing is, when we went with your brother, I actually got it on the green. You did. This one, I couldn't even do Me it. Me too. But that I, one- maybe it's because we got a little too. It was, it was that Bloody Mary. And it's the last fucking hole, or in the next to last hole. Yes, yeah, second to last second hole. Second to last hole. Like, at that, yeah, Bloody Mary was a fucking mistake, mistake possibly. for sure. But uh, no, dude, I'm down, dude. I'm glad I'm in the no, rotation. No, you're, you're the rotation. Mama, me, I made it. You have been promoted to whenever we need, whenever we need a fourth or a third, Jeff is there. Hell yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, now I just need my own clubs. You need your own clubs. You need some shoes. I need some shoes. No, I, you think, did, I think you definitely need some shoes. I definitely you, need you, some you, shoes. You I, I was slipping there. a lot. I have so much grass like stuck in my. In, in my those fucking uh, Air Maxes. Air, Air Max 96s, yeah. I think. I fucked up some Air Max 90s when I went out there with those. It was, it, was, it was bad. I don't I, Yeah, I, I think I need some golf shoes. The homie said he's going to give me clubs for free. That's what's up. I need to remind him. I got I got to drive. Where are my you. free clubs, motherfucker? Uh, yeah, say so I I need to go out there again, but um I have a free driver for you also. Nice, I'm down. You know, fuck it. But yeah, it's fun. It's, no, it's golf is it, fun. Jason, people, you got to go, bro. People, now we got to hit up uh our, our connects out there that that can give us some free shit, some free swag, some free it's a free like <coughs> shirt. Melbourne golf. Um, no, just, I wasn't gonna say, it, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, you know what I mean. I'm <coughs> Britney. It's it's becoming a, a a popular sport. People, it's becoming a a streetwear sport. Like you know, Malbon and fucking Nike's coming out with their shit, and Adidas is coming out with their shit, and and and, and there's like. I don't know, bogey boys. That's what like, you do now. The older you get, you you make, you start playing golf. You start going to karaoke. Or you start barbecuing. And you start barbecuing. Speaking of that. Ooh, ooh. Uh-oh. I don't know. We only know, but we're. I'm pretty excited for the the, the summer barbecue. We do this every year in the oh, last couple Sam's of years. Epic. I thought you were about to announce the next step on the no, tour. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, but the, but uh, we always go to. Uh, we do a summer barbecue at my place. Either it's at the, the apartment like we talked about. We're at the new place now that the Traeger. I'm pretty excited about that. Traeger that Traeger is glorious. I'm gonna make some smoked chicken thighs like I made the other the other time. Chicken thighs. We're gonna have some baked beans. Baked beans. Some potato salad. Potato salad. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> and then maybe a little bit. I don't know. Maybe some ribs or I don't know something there that that, that I could I could put the put. Maybe um, some ribs. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's Labor Day weekend. Celebrating our labor, uh, 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 celebrating the working man. Hey, we gotta thank communism for this holiday. We definitely True. do. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta thank Putin for this. Putin, yeah, <laughs> Lenin. <laughs> I love Putin. 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 <laughs> Putin. I don't Putin. Putin. Think it's, it's, Is it Putin? Putin doesn't give a fuck about communism. He just misses the Soviets. Did I say his name right, or is it's it Putin? It's oh, Putin, Putin. not yeah. Putin. <laughs> Maybe it is Putin, but that food will not allow himself to be called Putin. Putin sounds way better. Oh, right? there you go, Putin. Does Putin? Yeah, Putin sounds like I'm Putin. Vladimir Putin, <laughs> bro. Instead of Vlad- Vladimir is doing what? Vladimir <laughs> or Vladimir Putin, bro. Yeah. He's puking or Putin. I'd rather be Putin, bro. I'm Putin. Putin. I'm Putin all over Ukraine, my boy. <laughs> Shout out to Ukraine. Shout out to USSR. Hey, that dude who tried to like make that coup on fucking uh, Putin, and he got shot down. Oh, in that the Wagner so, Group guy. The yeah. Pre- yeah. What's his name? Pro. Pro- sure. 
Prosaska. <laughs> Prigozhin. They, they, they were trying to. Uh, they were uh-huh. trying to take over uh, Africa too. Well, this is the thing. Like, imagine like you try to like betray Vladimir Putin, and then he's like, you know what, bro? Get on this. It's plane. all cool, bro. You know, I'm. You're fine. Just stay in Belarus. Right. Like, are you gonna believe him, bro? Like, I'm not gonna believe shit Putin tells. I would have gone to Africa, like he said, I like he was trying to do. I would have fucking just ran to Biden, bro. <laughs> I would have ran straight to, up uh, to Hunter Biden, to who's Hunter, right across across the border. Smoke a little good pookie with my homie, and then to tell him, "Hey, hit, hook me up with your dad." The, hit the pipa. <laughs> hit the warm hit the, hit the warm peepa and say hey my dad roll it up and just say hey not bro. even roll it up roll it around <laughs> roll up roll around the peepa with hunter biden hey you know what though i bet you like partying with hunter biden like when he was in his 30s is probably sick yeah now mean? in his 40s and 50s now he's hitting pookie yeah he for probably sure. has hiv no he definitely has hiv he probably has like something else yeah it's sad yeah our geriatric government. I know. We were talking about that a little bit earlier. Like, you know, uh, what's his name? Mitch, Mitch McConnell kind of like fr- freezing up a little bit. Yeah. Like if that was just some we guy got Diane, that you saw Diane Feinstein, like. If you just saw like an old man, like Mitch McConnell on the street, just like frozen, you'd be like, yo, like, let's call an ambulance. For like, sure. Who's for his sure. handler? Yeah. Like, where is like his, his, caregiver. his caregiver? Like, where, like who left this What skilled man? nursing facility yeah, do you belong did, to? Did you, where did you escape from? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, someone put this fool in a straight jacket. <laughs> like, he is lost. Like, please help this man. He's called the police. Like, sir, yeah. ambulance. But no. Yeah, we got a confused guy. Instead of doing that, they no. just put this man in front of like 30 reporters. For sure, and then he just fucking this is another fucking stroke. Spaces out like he's on ketamine, like he's in a K hole. Like wow, and then just like Mitch, just come over here. They like brush him away. Yeah. Like who's actually in charge? Like he's a senator from Kentucky, bro. Like who's actually in charge? Who who's in charge of Kentucky right now? Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. No, no, I know. But <laughs> who the fuck is in charge of Mitch McConnell? I exactly. <laughs> Who's his caregiver? Like, honestly, I think they're all just going to die at the same time. I feel like Feinstein, Mitch, and Joe, they're just all going to pass out together in unison. <laughs> the end of the boomers. And then what What happens to our government? Kamala Harris, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. What about, what's her name? Peluso. She's going to fall, fall fall from the sky, too? With Pelosi? the heavies? Pelosi. Pelosi. Pelosi got them heavies. Peluso. Peluso. <laughs> Who's Peluso? Peluso. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is. Oh, that was know. that was like that crazy video where Pelosi's husband got like robbed. Like he was basically oh, yeah, getting yeah, yeah, robbed yeah. in his house. If you were making all these like conspiracy theories that that was like his gay lover, My he was God. just like like he acted like he was getting robbed. But it was actually he got caught. He got caught. Get just catching and pitching. Catching and pitching, bro. <laughs> That's like so I know. That's such a weird phrase to say <laughs> For doing it <laughs> For sex For zegs yeah, I feel like this is a good uh, a moment Let's take a quick break and uh, For we'll the zegs right, For the zegs We'll be right back I had the red dot bro They put They literally like put Made a picture of me looking like I was like From, so you from India yeah, and like I had the red dot on the forehead, and they were like talking in like fucking weird languages. What? And like, t- like make it like hitting up girls that like I knew, but like, like straight up like hitting on them. Like, hey, what's up? Like, someone like straight up just made a fake profile. Of me. All right, welcome back, guys, from the break. We're talking about from the Zegs. PP break. We're talking about Zex too much, bro. Way too much Zex. Cincinnati. Man, I don't even know, bro. It, it, is it sus if a dude sends you the fucking drool emoji? Oh, hundred percent. That's fucking mad. That's sus. the new. That's the new question dude, right I, here. I just showed. Is it sus? Dude, okay, <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, that shouldn't even be a question. That's sus, right? No, I got scared. I, I should block him or it, something. Hundred. <laughs> I would. I would have blocked him. Restricted him. Fucking cut him out but of my it's life. Like they win. You know, know what I mean? Like, I, do they? They win, bro. That's the winning. Just I, fucking. I, you know uh, what I mean? Like, so- dude. <laughs> They're winning looking at your sexy stories, right? <laughs> this podcast is gonna come out. He's like, just about dro- me. drool emoji. <laughs> he talked about that's me. such a weird emoji. Like drool emoji. It better be about food only, bro. 
That's I don't the think only I've ever, acceptable. I think I don't think I've ever said Amber would drool emoji. <laughs> 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 no. The Amber, the jewel. I, I, I've never said that. Get in trouble for that. I have. She's like, you haven't sent me that. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's, fi- it's fine. She's she's a big girl. She'll- <laughs> no, but like, what the hell? That was weird. Yeah, some dude sent me that. Like, damn, that's you, cut. Damn, bro, that- is that you? Uh- I'm just looking mad regular at Dodger Stadium and shit. <laughs> Mad regular with his shirt, and he's just like, you know what, out there. And then the guy's like, damn, is that you? Drool emoji. <laughs> sus, dude. That was crazy. Yeah, that no, is that's crazy. Not, Jeff, that's not, beyond crazy. It's beyond sus. It's, he, it's, we don't have to suspect yeah, it's him. Not, he's not he, he's out there. He's out there in play. He is, uh, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Suspect number one. Or, or, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, it'll be criminal number, number one. He's going to be that guy. Yeah, no, that, that was wild. If you have, if you have a, no, you know, I'm, not, I'm just gonna stop it right there. But that, yeah, that was a little weird. That's that's never happened to me before. The so internet's that, a crazy place. The internet is a crazy place. You're just telling me that there's like apps where like people can like look look that yeah. you've been looking at their profile. Bro. Yeah. Why would you want to know that? That's just some nosy shit. Yeah. People people want to see that's how like, long you spent on their profile, how long uh, what you saw on their profile. Oh, I, I don't. You know what? I'd be like, nah, like because they want to see. You know the the people that they're reaching. <laughs> that they're reaching. <laughs> they want to know who's interested, right? Or who's still keeping up with the Joneses? For real? Nah, I mean that's weird, bro. Like, why would you want to know that? That's like, I feel like that's some girl shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, that's what I said. I, I, I don't know if it would be like dudes that want to know. Like, I'm not concerned. Well, there there, there is dudes there's probably, out there. There's, I'm sure it's like not just strictly women, and it's not all women, and it's, and it's not just. Not dudes. There's probably dudes that are concerned about who's looking at their profile. Right. But man, that's weird. Like, what kind that's of apps really cons- are these? Yeah, you, you, <laughs> for, I just want well, well, to for I reference. Just, I just want to know. know. Like, like, I got to be educated. No, I, don't, I, I can't. I can't say uh, on tape. Yeah, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> don't say it. You'll get the CIA will catch you. Mm. Our CIA handlers. Maybe I am the CIA. Well, that type oh, of shit. shit. Ah, fuck. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I that's say shit well, all the time. That's the type of shit though that like I bet like you know those type of agencies obviously have access to. It's not even the app. Well, they of just course. have it's like they no, know. These are, these, this at. is for the common lay person. Yeah, like, exactly. For someone that 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 you're that you want to see, oh Joe Schmo from this my from my uh, high school looking at my Instagram. Yeah. Four hours a day. Damn, Ooh. four hours a day is a while. A <laughs> <laughs> that means he wakes up, looks at it. He goes to work and looks at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're looking at yeah, no, that's wild, yeah. dude. That's like almost like all the screen time, straight <laughs> up, all day, <laughs> all day. You're not even like looking at emails. You're not looking at you just <laughs> you just scroll through that just fucking scroll that page, refresh, new <laughs> pic, new story. What the fuck? What the fuck? Who just liked this? <laughs> It's like that post is from two months ago. Uh, <laughs> I gotta keep up. You gotta know who likes shit. You gotta know. Oh, have you ever liked somebody's pick from like a long time ago? Because you were fucking nosy, being nosy as, fuck? as fuck. Yes, uh, is the, I've yes. had. It done I, ha- I hate that shit. You know what? I I, has anybody called you out on that? No. no thank God. Thank God. No. But I, like, I think the thing I've, is, I've been called out. The thing is, I fall not right called out, but it. I've been like. Like I've looked in it. Did you like my picture? And <laughs> who? Somebody's called you out for that. Yeah. Oh Damn, my God. That, that must have been so embarrassing. I was like, yeah, I was just see how your life is. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the old days. <laughs> no, uh, you know what I did the other day. Miss the old days. No, <laughs> you know. I don't. <laughs> no, you know what I did the other day though. Like you know that feature on Instagram where it's like. Suggesting who you should follow, right? I accidentally followed someone to suggest. Oh, yeah, because you try to scroll through, and it's someone that, like, it was like people that I know know them, and like from two different groups. And but I don't know this person, right? I'm like, I was like, immediately, like, I was like, dude, I don't, I hope they didn't see that, yeah, like, hope they didn't get the notification. I'm like, because I don't want to follow you, (laughs) like, I don't, like, that was that's the crazy thing about the social media world nowadays, you know what I mean? Like, it's so. Base. Uh, we started it off. I feel like us millennials have become like. This is my theory. You know, like we're going to put a tin go. foil house. Go. There, there we go. go. There we go. Tin foil hour. No, this is my theory. Us millennials have shaped 
the world of social media, right? We started with Rotten.com. Our, our, <laughs> <laughs> Rotten and all the forums that are out there, but also MySpace, right? You had your remember Zanga, Zanga, Zanga. Oh, Zanga. Dude, that shit was fucking sick. Or Zinga, was it Zinga? Zanga, Zanga, X A. Yeah, that shit. A or X? It was this, it was with a dog, right? Yes. No, no, no. It was it was that pro. It was like like MySpace, but on drugs. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was, was it Zanga? It was Zanga. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, if anybody still uses that shit There was yeah, MySpace and all, all that shit and, and we created this place Where you rank And, and you put your, your How cool your profile was And who was your top friend And who sees shit And who doesn't see shit And, and, and you, you know what I mean Like I feel like Us as millennials have I don't know where I was going with this You had a theory that we shaped the internet That we shaped social media or we were what were we talking about before then? Oh, that spies, <laughs> stalkers, <laughs> apps are listening to us now. No, no. Like how you fought, like because basically I was saying that I accidentally followed somebody, right? And 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 then you're like millennial, millennials shape <laughs> fucking social media. <laughs> Quite the jump, I'll fuck with that. It's a working it theory. Was going, work, it work. was going good, but but, but you know what it's I mean? It's a theory of progress. No, but the thing is, it's like I, we're definitely the first generation that grew up with the internet, right? Like 100%. everyone else, like was really already, grew up. Everyone with the else was already born without the right. internet, and then they saw it happen. We were like basically born. Like I remember being like, we were six. test gummies, uh, test dummies, test gummies. Yeah, because I was born in nineteen ninety. I, I was born in nineteen ninety, so I basically don't know life without the internet. Yeah, me like too. it's like. Yeah, obviously I was alive before it was like mainstream. I, right, right. But like when I when I came online, right, it was the internet was already a thing, sure. basically. Mm-hmm. Dial so, up, yeah, dial up, like all that shit. So it's like I grew up online. For like sure. everything is online. Like, chat rooms, chat rooms, fucking aim. Bro. Remember, eight, yeah, aim. You're in chat rooms. Yes, ASL. Now right. ASL is like as hell, like as hell. Like it's like, really, yeah. It's like oh, like. Azel, or like, there was, or was like that dude's a or, freak Azel. No, where's it? What's this other one that that I'm like I didn't even know what it was. I don't know when, any uh, of that shit. I, I'm not even old. I don't. Uh, for a while, I didn't know AF because I felt like oh, dude, I remember like back, like I remember this is like back in the day, nine too. or 2010. Yeah. Like I was talking to some chick and like she was like she said something like oh I'm down bored. AF. No, it wasn't even like that. It was like she oh, was I'm down bored. AF. She, I think she was. <laughs> but, like, it was. She was like oh I'm bored AF, and I was like. Literally, I didn't respond to the text for like two hours. Bro. I was like, "For real?" I was like, "AF." AF. And, and it was capital A, capital yeah, F. I was yeah. like, "That can't be if." F. Like, I was like, "I'm bored, F." F. Or like something. I was like, "Maybe, so, maybe that's the nickname she gives me." And then, I, like yeah. Jeff, but and, F. And then, like, I, dude, I struggled. And, but eventually, ass like, F. honestly, mature response. I just asked, "What the fuck is AF?" <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't even pretend. I was like, "Yeah, for sure, nah. <laughs> I just, as I fuck, literally bitch. asked. And she was like, "As fuck." I'm like, "Ah, uh, got, yeah, it, got, it, got, got it, got it, got it, got it." Got with the link. And then you're like, "I'm fucking old." <laughs> I know. I was like, I'm only 21. Uh, I'm, I'm only fucking 20. old. <laughs> Old. Nah, but Damn. yeah, the first generation that grew up on the internet. I mean, dude, like, I'm gonna keep it real though. The biggest mistake we ever made mm. was leaving MySpace for Facebook. True. That was the biggest mistake. Farmville, Farmville got us. Didn't get me. I never played no, that shit. No, Farmville got everybody. Farmville got the boomers, bro. Farm, no. Farmville you got played normal. Farmville? I played. Jeff. This is a shame. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, 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 Jeff. <laughs> there is. There is. It is written in the in history of how people were addicted to Farmville. Oh, Bell. I believe that. It just wasn't me. No, it, was, no, it was no boomers. It was it, mostly boomers. No, it was, <laughs> boomers were after after people were like, ah, Farmville's not cool anymore. When when those what developers the first came out with Farm it. Bill? What the fuck was it? Like, how do you even play that? You just that farm too? shit up. How the fuck is that cool? Because you, you <laughs> go out there and grow some real crops, bro. Cause this is a game on a fucking social media app. So you play together. Yeah, you can see people's farms. So that social media is finest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like seeing people. I feel farms. like that. This was Facebook at its like peak, where people were like 
That like, was a mistake, though. I should have never left MySpace. I miss MySpace. We should have kept that shit. Because people learn how to code. The cultivated creativity. It exactly. did. You could learn how to, like, really, like, write the code was, of your website and toxic. see. Remember yeah. the burn books? Yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah. they made a whole fake profile of me, dude. Remember how we were just laughing about Red Dot or Feather? Yeah. I had the red dot, bro. They put, they literally like put, made a picture of me looking like I was like from, so you were from India. Yeah. And like I had the red dot on the forehead and they were like talking in like fucking weird languages. What? And like, t- like make it like hitting up girls that like I knew, but like, like straight up like hitting on them. Like, hey, what's up? Like someone like straight up just made a fake profile of me. I might know who what? did that. What? Yeah. It was great on MySpace. Straight up. Whoa. No Kizzy, no, like straight <laughs> up, like they made a fake profile of me. They added, fi- how did you find out about it? Because people were like, "Jeff, is this you?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" They like people actually Jeff, good friends. We're gonna have to talk after this podcast, you but think I, you know, know I, think, I think I know who did this. Say it. I'll no, say it out no, loud right no, now. No, no, I'm not saying that. I have a suspicion. I actually it, have a suspicion. I have a suspicion too, but we'll, we'll think, talk about no, it after. I'll say there. it right now. Like, well, I think I'll it's blank like, it out. I'll blank it out. I think it's like people. <laughs> I think for you me, blank? you won't, you won't go this far into the fucking podcast and know that this conversation yes, happened. Yeah, I will because I have to edit the whole thing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, I think for me, my theory is that it was someone from LAB. Mm. Oh, that I have, makes sense. And I have like a real good theory of who it was and why they did it. Okay. Who do you I, think? I think it's somebody else from SFEA. Really? It could have been too because they added a lot of people. It was they added. They, that's a crazy thing. They added people from like that's when I was going to church a lot. You know what I mean? I was like nineteen. Like, right. So it's like they had a lot of like girls from church. They had a lot of the girls from SFEA, and they had a lot of the girls from LAB. They added like a lot of dudes from all. It was like somebody who knew like all. And obviously, I think they were just looking at my profile and, and then who, just, like I uh, followed yeah, exactly. and shit and who I was interacting. It was like pretty well done. Like right. congrats to them. Like. But like my good friends out there were like, "Yo, Jeff, is this you?" I'm like, "No, fuck, no, that ain't me." I I have a feeling it's somebody else from SFBA. And they did. It was like literally like clowning on me hard. I was like, "Damn, I, I must have done a good number on this person." Like they're hating on me heavy. Like I guess. Like it was crazy, huh? Yeah. She she didn't seem the type. Damn. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, it was it was crazy, but like Facebook was toxic too. That's what I was getting. Yeah, to. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not, I mean MySpace was toxic too. That top eight shit was mad toxic. Bro. Yeah, for sure. That top eight shit was just you're already like ranking your buddies. <laughs> you're you're saying who's more important than uh, anybody else? Exactly. Um, let's look at a little sports. Let's get. Oh, right, what were you gonna say? Did you like going to LAB? Ah, you know what? It was pretty cool. Like there was like certain aspects of it because like when you go to SFBA, like you feel like I didn't really get you don't get the full high school experience or you don't get sure. that, like full like just school like middle school to high school experience and shit. And like we kind of gave me a little glimpse into that because like you saw the levels of like job. it was a it was a bigger mm. it was a bigger private school. It was a bigger private school. It was still a private school though, but it was like you know you see like the it's like oh there's the jocks, there's the nerds, there's the fucking like the stone like there was like a everyone had their group, group. you know what I mean and it was well like, that's what public school and there was out. and there was always like you know that I feel like I was kicking it with like the group that I would kick it with it was shout a mixture out, of a, shout uh, out to like Matt Roll because he like like just like fucking introduced me brought me in it was like the group that kind of was like tapped in with like all the sides mm-hmm. of it like obviously we weren't like the coolest kids but like we knew well, people you, who were cool with the coolest kids right, right? so mm-hmm. it's like oh yeah you could come to this shit you could come it's like it was pretty cool it was like a little like i was like ah oh, so this is what it's high different school world like yeah you know what I mean? that's how i kind of felt like but even then i feel like that's not even like the total experience like, is it way bigger than it was it way bigger the campus than than uh than the, uh, the academy yeah oh yeah it looked bigger it did yeah, yeah no it, i mean it's just like it's yeah the cat the thing is though like i don't know the academy it, it it deserves all the bullshit it gets thrown on it but it also like there's deserves a little praise i feel like a lot of the people who like went there like ended up doing pretty decent for themselves like no not there true was, but there wasn't like total, there's a lot of people that didn't yeah that's true as well <laughs> but I feel like that's every high school. Yeah, it's just yeah, that, it's but just it, the numbers but, uh, are so uh, small uh, that like I, I'm not talking about the academics here. I'm talking about the the amenities that you get as a, as a student. 
to see everything. You know what I mean? Oh, it's, yeah. it's so much bigger and so much nicer. Oh yeah. They, I bet at L A B than oh, it yeah, was. Like, at the I Academy. remember they had like fucking it was like obviously they had like break like if you got there early, you got like breakfast. But then they had like this little like mid type of like thing before lunch. It's like nutrition. Yeah, I don't know. I forgot what the fuck it was. <laughs> but the food that they had at their calf. Yeah. Compared to our calf. Oh my, um, times oh better. my God. They had the Obama's breakfast burrito. It had oh fucking my God. meat in the shit. It was so good, uh. dude. Dude, uh, the fucking chicken tenders were to die for. <laughs> you're, like, <laughs> you're like, I've been eating some fucking um, dude, I'm gonna some, tell you. some veggie ass dude, hot dogs. That shit was fucking sick. I was like, dude, you guys do not know. I heard some people complain. I'm like, y'all don't know the, shit. The, yeah, you don't know what it is you out there. The struggle. <laughs> this ain't hot jail. This is luxury. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't jail. This is freedom right this here. This is freedom, damn it. You don't know jail. I actually like. That was like, you know, it was funny though. That's the school where I realized, like, I'm just a troll for sure. Like, ain't nothing gonna change me. Like, cause I, I remember, like, I that that school actually had detention. Really? And, like, I kept getting detention because my first period class was Spanish class, and I would always get there a little late. Like, uh-huh. And like that teacher fucking hated me, dude, because I spoke Spanish better than him. Oh my God. Better than him Yeah better than him Cause he was like a Chicano dude But he was like Speaking Spanish With a huge accent I'm like I speak Spanish With an accent But like I knew everything He was saying And like better than him And like The students would come Like talking to me For like Like how to like uh, yeah. Pass the class and shit And that was like During my sagging era And he was like Dude he tried to clown me Like in front of class He was like You know like Why people sag right I'm like no He's like Cause it's like when you're uh, in, jail, in jail, like it means that you're ready to like get Chicken it in the ass. butt or something. Like he didn't say it like that, but it was basically his implying. I was like, "Is that what happened to you?" Like, oh. like because you know, just being a fucking dick, you know. Like I shouldn't have uh, responded like uh, that. Fifteen year old guy. Yeah, it's like I'm like fucking sixteen, just talking shit to the teachers. Like that dude sent me to detention so many times, bro. Only time I went to detention was because of him, bro. I even had to go to school on fucking Saturday, bro. Wow, Saturday school. Yeah, because it was like so many detentions that it was like you gotta go on Saturday. Jesus, and then it's like now I'm there with like the, everybody that I saw there was like my homie too. Though. <laughs> I'm like shit, we're fucking gonna, kick it. We're gonna kick it after. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was fucking terrible. Like I'm like damn, like I'm really just an asshole. Academy try to do a detention. That shit was never gonna work. It, big, it never worked. <laughs> nah, it's too small. Mm. There's not enough. Like, you're, parents and kids don't care care enough. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just gonna take this little ass home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll beat his ass at home. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck, I mean, I'm so sometimes I still have like it's a different world. Do you guys ever have those like random dreams that you're still in school? Yeah, I hate those. Yeah, dreams. Fuck definitely I hate that shit. And it's always the academy. No, I have a dream that I'm still like, in college. Same. It's like that. I still, I've had some. That at, I didn't at, at, finish at, at, college. At I'm like in the elevator in La Sierra, and I see the people coming out of the gym or like going. I'm like, and I'm still like my age. I'm like, what the. Fuck? Fuck, I'm back. Mm-hmm. Like I, they're like, yeah, I'm about to graduate. Where are you? And for some reason, yeah. out of my mouth says freshman. Even and they're like, old as shit. I'm like, yeah. no, not that there's anything wrong with that, but right, I right. already finished. So right. it's like, I'm like, nah. Fucking hate that dream. Yeah, it's the worst. It's it the happens. Fucking worst dream. I have that with the academy and PUC. Yeah, I have one where I have a lot of. I'm about to graduate, but then they tell me that I haven't been attending a class like the entire time and shit. Dude. I'm just like, what? Like, that what happens, the fuck? That happens to me. It's like, oh, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to finish. And they're like, oh, you didn't show up to fucking yeah, history of dude. religion <laughs> exactly, for like dude. all semester. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I didn't even no. see this shit. And then everybody's like, yeah, this this is your seat. Like, Come on, Jeb. You, you were the one. I'm like, yes, he looks like that. And the teacher's like, nah, you just got to come back for this one class. Like, you, yeah. you'll graduate next yeah, year. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no one told me. It's like, it's the most random class in yeah, like, I hate that shit. Oh, fucking awful, dude. I wonder what that is. Like, dream interpretation. Yeah, is exactly. It's like it, bullshit, it bullshit, kind of. Is it? Is it, though? It's trauma, dude. It's trauma. <laughs> it's That's trauma, what it is. Yeah. That's what therapists say. Yeah, because it's like also, like, I, like funny enough, I was having this <laughs> conversation with Amber. Like, I, I always dream about, like, girls that, like, I've always, like, that I've, like, had something with in the past, mm-hmm. but never with the woman that I'm with currently. It's always, That's true. It's always been that way. 
Okay. Ever since I said that, I've been having dreams with Amber. I'm like, yeah, you're like a, you're, you worked your voodoo nah, magic. Nah, you're, you, you're got your, magic. You, you got your answer. You're subbing in my brain. Because like that is what happens. Though. Yeah, it was like ever, ever since I said that, like now I'm just having dreams with Amber in it, and they're all fucking awkward. <laughs> What you doing here? Why are you here? Because <laughs> you said I wouldn't be. <laughs> I'm haunting oh, you in your dreams. Like, God damn it. <laughs> dreams are weird. Like, I feel like it's like even weird, like, talking about them. They are. Because it's like, what are they Because Because sometimes you wake up and you think you remember it, but it's not exactly the way you remember it. But then, like, you, but then you, like, could see it in your head, but can't explain it the way you, you see it in your like head. It's like Christopher Nolan, you know, Inception, right? So it's like right. Christopher Nolan, like, when he said that he was like making inception like every if you notice every time every scene it's in the middle of something mm-hmm. and he was saying because that's how dreams are like you never know when it start like you don't remember how it started and you really don't even remember how it ended really it but just, you're there things start closing up because you're like right. waking up right. you just wake up in the middle of the scene true right and then that's how it, i'm like dude christopher nolan fucking g dude There's i feel literally. like he's my favorite director of oh, like, sure. the modern guys yeah mm-hmm He's the fucking the best the shit. The best Batman movie, like I, uh, I, uh, the Dark Knight. I actually like the new one too. It was pretty good. The new one was really good. The new Oppen one's Hammer? really good. No, the new uh, Batman. Batman with oh, uh, yeah. uh, Rob Pattinson. Robert Pattinson. I wonder who dir- I forgot who directed that one. Same. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. That one was pretty good. But I, I rewatched Interstellar the other day. Great movie. That movie's fucking insane, dude. Like when he, cause even he's, he's like falling through this, like, like one of the last like scenes. Well, that's like, cause he's part of the beyond physics and life. And yeah. Cause he's like basically in like another like demen like he's yeah. basically, he's falling through like this dream world mm-hmm. and shit. Oh my God. And then when and then he, he wakes up and he's like 80 bajillion. No, he's young, but his uh, daughter is dead. Is like no, about dead. to die. Yeah. yeah. Like spoiler alert. But like. His daughter's no, about to, and then he like starts rebuilding the robot. And they're yes. like, "Oh my god, that's like old technology." He's like, "Not." Nah. He starts he starts talking to him and shit. He's like, "Yeah, they're, they're, like I'm waking up." And like he yeah. like basically like rebuilds. to go back to go back and do more. And like, like Anne Hathaway's like character still on that other planet, yep. still looking young. That movie's mm-hmm. fucking great, dude. Yeah, that movie's amazing. I wonder if they would ever do a number two. People have been talking about that. They sure. should. I I don't know. That movie's like so. Some people hate on that movie because it's like I feel like it's like super ambitious. Right. It's like such a like ambitious. Because you, you go beyond like what we believe to be fact and what we've gotten be to be fact, but then you go beyond that. What what could be fact? You know what what could be the the life that humans live beyond what we've thought possibly po- possible. And I, I still don't even mm-hmm. understand like when he comes back and like they like say like the whole technology they're like building up. Like it's like weird, like the whole the field they're growing crops like in the sky. Like remember mm-hmm. when he comes back and because like, everything's like drying like, down. He like built yeah exactly when he leaves everything's dying right. Yeah. Like it, like it's like the basically the dust bowl again. And right. Like mm-hmm. they can't grow crops, but then when he comes back, like when he wakes up from that sleep or whatever. Oh. And like they're growing that, crops like upwards. Though. But that's in a ship. That's in a ship. Yeah. That's in a ship. Yeah. yeah. Because they like basically that they equation. Left Earth. Yeah, the equation is like how to take everybody from Earth and like put it on a ship and have it be self sustained so they can go to the next habitable. To, to find, oh, to continue shit. to travel and yeah. find a habitable. See, that's where I like I got lost. I was like, I didn't yeah. even get that part. The yeah. equation that he throws out in the whole like pushing of the exactly. bo- of the books yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. is what she uses to make a ship, like he mm-hmm. said, because they were already before he left. Remember, they were like this that that old guy was it? Isn't it Alfred? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy, <laughs> Alfred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that 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 they're already his name, but they're yeah. already kind of like building like s- an idea of what a ship would be, and then he's like showing him like something like that, and then they just need an equation, and that's where she comes in, mm-hmm. and finds so all that's that, what it is. and then it becomes this ship where they. And it, that's why they it's have like, like the, it's like it's like crop feels like in a, in a circle. Exactly. You know what I mean? And but that's it's, why it, they have that like basically that model of like his house. Mm-hmm. Yes, like, it's like oh, yeah. like this is that's, old, that's his, this is like a museum. And, yeah, and yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, now it all makes sense. Yeah. yeah, I was I was lost. I was like, what the fuck? They're yeah. building upwards, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like, what is going on? It's just crazy, dude. Because yeah. the 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 idea of time travel and not time travel, but space travel and all that, like through a black hole and coming back going in 31 32 years old and coming back 
Like, you guys are like same age. 80, like, the dude but that I'm they left 30, in the ship, 32. the dude that they left yeah. in the ship, he's all old as yeah. fuck. Yeah. When he, they come back, and it was just not that long. It was like, like three hours, hours or some shit. Yeah. I mean, it's Christopher Nolan's a G, bro. I fucking love Christopher Nolan. I never, I never saw Tenant though. I haven't seen Tenant. That's like mm. basically I saw a little bit of it. That's like basically Inception two in a way, right? It's, it's like, like a, Inception and Interstellar all in one. Is it really? No. <laughs> it's like I'm just making shit up. <laughs> In in uh Inception and John Wick. Oh really? Inception kind of had like John Wick vibes, but it like, was like more yeah. uh, fucking uh, strategic. John yeah. Wick is another crazy ass movie, but I haven't been to the movies in a minute. Have you guys seen it? Um, yeah, I went to go see Oppenheimer. I did not see Oppenheimer. Yeah, you need to see that. I need. Uh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Barbie. I haven't seen um, what else came out recently? Oppenheimer. Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle. I haven't. People seen like it. that movie. Yeah, I've actually I've heard, heard that. good things about it, but I haven't seen it. Do you like horror movies? Mm. Mm. Then you Why would this? Um. Yeah. Well, that one isn't. Is that one out already? Yeah, I saw Let Me In. It's like a twenty four movie. What about Let Me Out? A twenty four is fucking sick. I fucking love yeah. that shit. It was a good movie. In the morning. What? A24. Oh. <laughs> he said 824 in the morning, bro? A24? Is, is, is that the only time you can watch the movie at 824? Exactly, dude. That's that matinee hour, bro. <laughs> That's what I saw Oppenheimer. I saw Oppenheimer early as fuck, dude. Did like, Matt invite you to go see six? Oppenheimer at like 6 yes, in the morning? Yeah, like, I'm not going to go see it. He's like, bro, this is like the way you need to see it, bro. It's like the best sound, the best fucking bitch. I'm like, you know. Have fun with that. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, not going. I'm not going to that. It was at the Chinese theater. Yeah, so I was like, that's pretty sick, bro. And it's pretty fucking far to be there at six in the morning. Yeah, I would yeah, have to true. wake up at like four thirty. Yeah, <laughs> fuck that shit. To like get ready and be there and like just on time for that shit. Yeah. Hail to the no, no no no, dude. I I saw that you were about to get into sports. We have one specific sports topic, bro. And I feel like it's it's a big one, bro. This guy disc fucking golf. Noah Lyles, bro. Oh. The runner, disc golf. <laughs> that runner, Noah Lyles, where he basically was saying, he said, you know the thing that hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA finals and they have world champion on their head. What cha- Champion of what? The United States? And, like, all the NBA players are fucking on his head about that, like. I feel like that was kind of like an out of pocket thing to say, but I also, feel like it's something that he tried to get like as like like clickbait or you know what I mean? Like something that that's, he knows that people are going to be like, oh, this is like uh, print worthy or like um, tabloid worthy or like, you know what I mean? Like clickbait. It, it, chance it was, to go viral. Exactly. A well, chance to go viral. Fucking worked. I mean, it, the, it, it really all, did. All the yeah. NBA players bid on it. Like because why wouldn't they? Exactly. The thing is, is like I I see his point and because, I see the NBA because because my question was when when he came out I was like who the fuck is this guy? Yeah. Like I as in no no literally who the yeah. fuck is this guy? I don't know. I don't want the, the running or whatever the fuck he does. Track and is, field. <laughs> it's not on TV. It's not on ESPN. It's not on on Fox or something that I can watch. And it's not. Maybe in on, the, like on the, the deep nets of YouTube, I find them. It's in the dark web. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> Track the them dark, on the dark web. Bro. You got to change the dark side of of YouTube to find them. But I, 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 you know, that's what I'm saying. Like the guy was trying to get something to get like attention for whatever the fuck was going on in track and field that day. Yeah, and it definitely I, my fuck, my opinion. Yeah, and it definitely fuck worked. Actually. The thing is, no, like, sure. if he believes it, I get his point, but I also get what uh, yeah. the NBA players are saying. Look, that's a question that I've said when I was seven years old because I was like, what do you mean world champions? The world champions that we have uh, Slovakians, we have uh, Serb- uh, Serbians, we have uh, uh, Spain, we have Argentinians, we have... From people from all over the fucking world. As the, as the warden in Shawshank Redemption said... No, well, as fucking uh, the prisoner in Shawshank Redemption, so he's like, are you being obtuse? Like, yeah, because it's like, obviously, you know what they mean by world champion. It's like there's players, the best players in the world play in the NBA. So that's the best team in the world who right. wins it. Like name another team in the world who could beat the Dem- Denver Nuggets right now. Right, it's it's gonna be someone from the NBA, if anything. Right, it's not gonna be fucking You're gonna Real put Madrid, a, Barcelona, Panthers, or whatever the fuck, or whatever the team in in, in any other place it, it is. It, you you know what I mean? Like, 
Exactly. It, the the highest level of play of basketball, high, of basketball is in the NBA. And and it's been known. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, all the best players in the world play in that league. Exactly. So the Denver Nuggets, who their best player is from Serbia, is say the world, world champion. But see, champion. I will I will say this though. Also, like I feel like soccer actually has the best formula where it's like right. they have they figured out, at least in European soccer, where it's like they have their national leagues. But they also have the best teams from all those national leagues playing the Champions League. Right. That team has a better label to be like they're the champion of the world because right. they're the best soccer team at least of Europe, right? Which is the best and, and the best leagues. And the Champions League is the best league in the world, right? You know what should the Super League should have been going if we're going into the soccer? You know what the you remember the Super League was going to be all these like like high profile teams, but what the Super League should be is. Champions League for the world. So what it is is the 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 UEFA a Champions League, but the the Premier League and the Concacaf has their club level, club level, not 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 World Cup like not uh, yeah, international. Yeah, Concacaf has their Champions League too. exactly, but to a tournament that is the Super League that the, the world champion. It could be. Fucking who knows what they in Thailand to- and or, or in Japan or or, or the Seattle Sounders yeah. or fucking uh, Real Madrid or or AC Milan, uh, Napoli, whoever the Palermo. fuck it is. Yeah, like, but technically uh, they do uh, have uh, that. Al Hilal. <laughs> no, technically they do have that though. It's called the FIFA Club World Cup. They hold it every year. They technically do have that, but a lot of the teams don't Call take. Me a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam, I'm just putting you on game. <laughs> no, but it's like a lot of teams don't take it that serious, right? Like they don't. Well, it should be. That's what I'm saying. Call it Super League, and then they'll give it's give them the a million dollars, well, millions of money. dollars. It's yeah. about the money. Like yeah. it's about the money and the prestige. Right. But you got to build shit up. Like you don't get the prestige overnight. You got to build things up, right? And it's like I think that's what they're like now. I feel like. You know, even keeping it with soccer, that they're they're gonna start inviting MLS teams to the fucking. Well, uh, Messi now being in to the, the fucking uh, what's the one where uh, in the Comebol it's uh, a Copa uh, America. No, no, it's no not Comebol. Comebol. It's, um, uh, if it's the clubs though, it's uh, uh, uh Libertadores. Yeah, Copa Libertadores. Yeah. So they're gonna invite Inter Miami. So that, that's good. Like you, that's kind of the Champions League of the yeah. Americas, right? So, right. But yeah, like going back to this guy, though, I feel like it's like you said, at the end of the day, it's kind of a silly comment. Like he's just being, it's a clickbait comment right, and he right. actually has us talking about right. it because it's like, who the fuck gives a fuck about track and field other than the Olympics? Right. Right. So it's like, but he, but and, and it's coming up next year, 2024. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, so that's why he's got to bring a little bit of attention to it. So yeah. At the end of the day, everybody knows that, that an NBA team that is wins it champion. is a world champion. Like, yeah. The game has become such an a worldly game that it's not. All the leagues are all world. Like it's like some ho- of our like hockey. It's like all those are all the best players in the world right. in this league. In baseball, all the best players in the world play here. Non Japan, non Dominican, they play in the MLB. Like it could be any league, but whatever league is the best in the world, that's the champion right. of the world because all the best players play in the, that league. Right. He knows what he was doing. It's kind yeah. of a silly comment. Yeah, is it, he's getting us to talk about it. Well, whatever you know what I mean. Um, other than that, there the Dodgers are. I've been watching them, Jeff. Like, Red just not, not watching them, but watching that standing. We're going into September, and the Padres, who spent millions of dollars, and I, I, I get any. Ch- I'm gonna do it whenever I get a chance to shit on the Dodgers. I'm, gonna, I mean, I'm, I'm shit sorry, on the Padres. Shit on the pa- sorry. Come on, Dear God. no, go to go to the fucking confessional, bro. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Father Padre. I'm sorry, Padre. Padre. No, no. Whenever I get a chance to shit on the Padres, you do it. I'm going to do it. And this was a team that they said they was going to take the division, that was going to win it by a landslide. That the Dodgers had no chance. They had to let go of, 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 of big pieces. Where are we now? Look at me now. The Dodgers went 22 and 4 in August. Crazy. Mookie Betts is now the leading favorite to win MVP and in the National League. Rake. You know who's number two? Freddie Freeman ha- just broke the record for most doubles in a exactly. Dodger uniform. He has 50 doubles. We're barely starting September. Just started. And and these are two guys that are, are, are keeping us together. And we don't have a star-studded, like, 
lineup. We have guys that have stepped up, right? We got Outman. Kike. We got Outman. We got Jason uh, uh, Hayward. Uh, Jason, uh, Hay- Jason Hayward looks rejuvenated. What's that guy, uh, other guy that came from the Diamondbacks? Uh, Peralta. Peralta. Finally, he was. I was expecting him to play better from early on. But it, these are great. glue guys, right? That have made. Look, we I got love these. that Kika's back. He like he right. looks so good in the Dodger unis, man. But I feel like you got these guys that are shining, which is Freeman and and Betts, like just out out of the park, right? And then we have we're so the, lucky to have those guys. On we the have these rookies that are just just doing great, Outman and. And, and the pitchers like Bobby, Bobby Miller, Miller and things like that, and then we have these glue guys like Jason Hayward and and Peralta and J.D. Martinez. Who, although he's out right now, he's but an like all-star this year. You, you know what I mean? Like filling in for all this to be a team that could be beyond a ninety win uh, win team, and, and possibly one have a chance for the for the world series i will say though i just hope once again this is my worry at the beginning of the year it's still my worry now have the dodgers peak too soon did they peak in august and not in the middle of september heading into october hopefully not i don't think that's the case okay so i feel like they're resting guys more often i feel like jd martinez is being pulled back because uh and saying oh he's not ready yet because they're waiting for like, you think walker bueller we see him this year I feel like we're going to see him towards the end of September, just holding back, keeping fresh for all of, all of October. Speaking of two Tommy John surgeries, which is what Walker Buehler just yeah. finished getting recovering. Oh, Tommy. Yeah. He's still going to be hitting, but he's a, he's due for the, another Tommy John. Are you John. sure? I felt like. No, I, he's still going to hit. He's um, still going to like, he's still going to uh, DH. He's not going to play in the outfield or right. the first base, so he's going to DH. They were talking that he might have been the first billion dollar man, but now after another Tommy John, he's not going to pitch. I feel like, like that he'll again. get five hundred, maybe six hundred, because he's still going to be like they're saying he might even just transition to first baseman or something. Right, like he's still going to rake, bro. Like, but that pitching, I think even when he comes back, he might be a bullpen right. guy. Not a starter. Oh, I, yeah. Not another. He might be a closer, like right. or something, because he's still going to have that nasty stuff. So I feel like. Look, you could pay him that 500, 600 with incentives. You know what I mean? Like, I think you pay him like 400, 500 with incentives. Because the whole shit that they were even talking about 700, 800. Because he was a no. dual. He was like, he was going to be the highest paid pitcher and the highest paid outfit. Like, I mean, position player, right? Slash DH. Right. It's like they were combining both of those salaries. Now they basically got to throw that pitching out the window in a mm. way. He basically, they would I don't have know to pay they, him the highest. Because like the way surgery is now with guys, like they come back better than ever. Sometimes, you know what I mean? For what sure. If, but what if he's a good? What if he's still a good pitcher? What if he's still uh, like uh, as good as he ever was? And I think you know he I mean? might be, but I think if you're if you're gonna be a smart team now, you're gonna you're not gonna put that load on him anymore. You'll be like, this is the second. But time if he's you're a smart hurt. team, you want to get him right. Yeah, but you and he's gonna, gonna want the more, the more money. But I would you now nah, he's not gonna get what he's gonna get. What he people? I feel like I feel like he's gonna get that five hundred. 600 from the Dodgers. It's still pop- to ah. lock him up. But he's I wouldn't start him though. No, no, no. Yeah. Not, not yet or something. No, 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 not yet. Let's uh, well, the way the Dodgers have have had this like these pitching staffs, Mark Pryor, the way he's changed certain guys, I feel like with time and rehab and all of that things he can get back to that started role and not not I heard there's not, a new not not be the ace I heard maybe. there's a new sleeper team out there for Otani though. Who? Our rival up north, the San Francisco Giants. Not not a sleeper. They've been they they've been there, but no. But they're gonna they're the one. They're right now supposedly they're. It's like between obviously Angels, but it's like the Mets. Who Angels? They're, they're on a fire sale. That the fire sale. Yeah, Jeff, they just gave away be- their the, the guy they traded a, a top prospect for. They 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 just release all these guys. That, they know they're losing Otani. They're yeah, not going to keep. It's basically um, going to be between the Angels, the Mets, the Dodgers, and the Giants. So the Dodgers, the Mets, and the Giants. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you want to put it that way, but they're the Angels are going to have the money to do it. Like they're going to have the money to do it. It's basically going to be Otani saying, "Does he want to win or not?" That's basically what it's going to come down to. And Mike Trout already showed and that's that it didn't either. matter. And Angels don't win, get the money. Win with the Dodgers, get and less get money. No, no less. Yeah, less. Because the Dodgers are not going to throw. You know who's going to give them the most money? The Mets. 
Cause Steve Cohen got that fucking pocket. No, he still has. No, he still has to pay up for that. Yeah, the, he's the, the, the rich, Max Scherzer. No, he has the Max Scherzer uh, contract still on him. Like, he's the richest like a part owner of in baseball. Yeah, but still. and baseball has no salary cap. So, I, I I don't know. I feel like he wants to stay on the uh, on the West Coast. That's closer what to, it will be to to to, uh, to Japan. I'm just he not likes my LA. Up. I'm not putting my hopes up for Otani. I think mean, you, you're being you're being a Dodger fan. You're being you're being pessimistic. Yes. We'll see. We'll see. I feel, I feel. I feel it's gonna happen. Um, anything else happened in the world of sports? The world of sports. Oh, Austin Inter Miami's coming. Uh, Austin Reeves being the best player on Team USA. He's got a mural now in LA too. Hell yeah! Give my boy AR fifteen more murals, man. Um, Inter Miami's coming into town to play LAFC on Sunday. You gonna watch that? Mm, no. Are you gonna do uh, fantasy uh, football? Yes, I am. I'm doing with your cousin, who's going to be a guest soon. Yeah. I'm in that league. I'm in the Taps League. I'm wow. In, I'm in a Dynasty League with Spence, who's the bartender from Taps as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm in another league, possibly with the college homies who knows it's still in the air. Wow. Yeah, four that's leagues. A lot, that's a lot of Three, leagues. Three, possibly four leagues. I don't know. I I, th- I think I can barely do one. No, you could do uh, two. <laughs> two. Two is the Because it's once I a think, week. You I know what I mean? Three, it's, it's, three is doable. Four, I'm doing too much. I, I, I was going to cut out. But you know what? When you told me your cousin's league was only $20, I'm like, ah, what's four? <laughs> what's four? <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, I didn't think. I told him, I don't think Jeff's going to be up for it. He's already in three leagues. Fuck it. But then he said I $20. Said, I was like, ah, I don't fuck know. It. What's another 20 <laughs> <laughs> But, um. I'm hoping it's it's been a while since I've been doing a fantasy, so it's gonna be fun. You're gonna get your feet wet again. Your feet wet a little You're bit. You're gonna be addicted. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I already. I'm listening to all these. If you pod- like, I'm if already you like listening ba- to all these podcasts. If you like basketball, because you've been in basketball the past yeah. couple of years, football's ten times better. Which I've heard our our, our league's been dissolved. Uh, the so far the other league that the, I was the, in, it's been dissolved. No, no, the the basketball league. Oh, the one that we're both in? Yeah. Is they dissolved it? I, I, that's what I've heard that the, everyone's talking about. Yeah, I'm not the, I'm not going to be in it. Yeah, let's see. Do you know what I mean? You know, I, feel I think like, we got tired of each other. I feel like I feel like that's what happened. You yeah, we got I mean? tired of each other. There, I, I got no, recruited to another one. I bet you they're still going to have like another type of league with some of those members. Yeah, right. But lot, I'm not going to be. I don't mm. want to deal with that shit anymore. You got too personal. Yeah. We got too did. drama. It's like, fuck that. I'm not in it. Yeah. It is what it is. It, it is what it is. It, comes it was a it good goes. run. It I was won a fun. championship once. I, I, I never did. <laughs> I made the playoffs a couple times. Time. I might come back to a basketball league in like a couple years. I just need to retire. I need to take some time off. so lo- like It's so like long as dreaming. I did it for like four years in a row, bro. It's grueling because it's like in multiple every leagues. day. I was you in two I mean? fucking leagues, bro. Yeah, I, um, I'm um, i I'm still joining. I'm possibly joining another league this year for you basketball. Just do one. You should just try to do one. You're gonna no, do two. No, one basketball league. Yeah, and then one football. Oh yeah, that's so that's we'll good. You'll be good. Yeah, we'll be fine. Fantasy season's coming. Football's coming. Yeah, as you can see, Green Bay. How do you feel about Jordan Love? Are you a Jordan Love fan? Are you still you still uh, team? I, I, so, I, I got a I got a New Jersey. You know what I mean? Are you gonna start rocking that number? Uh, number eight? ten. Number no, eight. He's got ten. Ten. Yeah. That number ten Jets. Bro? Yeah. No, no, ten. oh no, not eight. No, no, no. no. I'm saying no. Aaron oh, Jets. Rogers no, no. Eight. I'm not wearing it. No, no Jets. I am sick of strictly Green Bay. Jordan Love, number ten. Team Jordan Love. I'll put Love, Love back yeah. there. You All know right. what I mean? Like I think the I think the Packers have a good. Uh, I think they, I think they got a good chance to maybe make the playoffs. Nah, it's gonna be the Minnesota or the Lions in there. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, guys. Um, all this and more. Hey, we got to uh, announce. Announce. We finally found uh, summer. T- uh, the the lucky t- specialist summer tour. Before you say this, though, hmm. I'm already. I, this is me right now. I'm work. I'm workshopping. Maybe this is just an infinite tour. Maybe this is not even a seasonal tour. Maybe oh. this is just a nonstop tour for like. This is like the fucking. This is fucking Metallica touring for three years straight, bro. <laughs> just fucking going. <laughs> just like, we just keep going just until dates we... and dates and dates on dates, bro. Why? Why? Why restrict to the summer? Because yeah. there's fall. Why there's hold winter, yourself back? Why hold yourself back? Spring. We can do it all year long. Yeah, there's so many places. So the next stop on the, the tour. On the tour. 
we're, we're going to head out to. And, and we're not restricting it just to the Valley. And we're not restricting it just to breweries. We're not just restricting it to just California. Yeah, we're fucking, we're, we're going to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> in we're three, three years. We're in Colombia. In three years, we're going to Ireland. What, dude? I'm about to cry, bro. <laughs> if we hit, if we go to Ireland in three years, you know the podcast. Uh, we we started we the podcast it. by elevating. If we go three years, that means we elevated. We, we made it. We we done made it. We we have our own whiskey bottle named after us. <laughs> what are we called the U.S. whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little basketball. U.S. On it. Irish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Just to confuse everybody. But tell the people what they want to know. Tell the people. So we're gonna we're we're gonna uh, the next stop. At high low in Los Feliz. In Los Feliz uh, Saturday, September 16th at 3 p.m., 3, 4 p.m., whenever you guys, uh, yeah, 3 p.m. Uh, be there, be square. We're going to hang out with you guys, have a drink, have some, you food. Know, some food, just hang out. You know what I mean? Just enjoy it. It's not place. just beer this time. It's not just beer. Some cocktails. Some cocktails, some something else to drink, but they have good beers. They have good beers as well. As well. Um, so come out, show out, September 16th, Unlucky Specialist Tour. Be there. We'll be live. We'll be hanging out. We'll be buy us a drink. We'll buy you a drink. Um, you know, it's going to be fun. September 16th, 3 p.m., High Low, Los Feliz. It's your boy, Sam Torres. It's your boy, Jeff DePena. Shout out to Jason on the ones and twos. We out here. Peace. Woo!